Hey guys, I'm Teffel and welcome in my next tutorial. This time you will learn how to set your first character, uh, strafing left and right and moving in 360 degrees. And also some other capabilities like animation of dying when character is dead. Okay, so enjoy. Okay, so I just created a new third person project and I would like to use my third person character. Which has some basic moves, moving forward and rotates to movement direction and it also has jumping ability. So I can use my third person animation blueprint but you can create your own from a skeleton, just create an animation blueprint here. Yeah? But we go inside and it has uh, two graphs. First one is checking uh, our pawn, then it's setting if it's jumping our character this variable and uh, setting speed from velocity length it's because it's one dimensional blend space it's really simple like this and second one is animation graph so simple state machine just return one state which is final pose and we have already some states and uh, one uh, way transitions and when it's jumping yeah then it's uh, landing here when I unselect it. I go inside and there is one speed which is controlling our blend space. This is one dimensional blend space and when speed increases just a character moving faster and it's idle when it's zero. Yeah, It's simple like that. But I would like to replace this with two dimensional blend space and I will need some animations and uh, blend space. And you can download from a uh, marketplace, really nice set which is Movement Anim Set Pro. This is a really nice package of animations and blend space. And I have something like uh, classic strafe walking. And it uses 17 animations, one from uh, idle in the middle and two for every uh, direction, even cross direction. Moving uh, forward, just walking, running same for backward uh, walking running left right walking and running yeah and it looks really nice and smooth so i would like to use this one okay so i take my classic strafe and just retarget duplicate and unselected these two and use as my mannequin okay Okay, but I also need to go to my third person character and check what speed is for our character. It's 60, uh, 600. And one more thing, uh, I would like to unselect orient rotation to movement. Yeah. So it won't be rotating anymore. Just using our velocity, yeah, length. And this animation is exactly the same in every uh, angle, yeah? So I can finally replace this with my animation. So I go to my uh, animation blueprint. And I need to change the speed and uh, yeah, set our uh, variables. So I get forward vector and get my right vector. Because these are normal vectors with length 1, I need to dot this product. And because maximum speed is 600, I just uh, need to divide by 600. It's because my blend space to dimensional blend space is uh, from minus 1 to 1. Okay, and I use my velocity, like I said before, and I can promote to variable which is uh, speed right, second one is speed forward. Okay, and I can use this one. Okay. And one more thing, I need to uh, animation graph and replace our idle run blend space. So I use this my strafes. Strafes. Okay, and this is forward, and second one is speed right, and it should work like this. 
Okay, compile, save. And this is simple like that. It's moving forward, it's moving left and right, yeah. Okay. So I hit play and check this out. Yeah, he's moving back, he's moving forward, he's jumping, still jumping. But one more thing when I rotate, uh, character not follow camera, but I would like to rotate as well, yeah, my character. So this is simple mm, fix. I just go to third person character and select uh, use controller rotation yo, yeah. And when I hit play, it's finally really intuitive, yeah. And it works really nice. So right now I would like to add more capabilities like dying. So I will add uh, volume on my Steam, which will be uh, trigger volume. <laughs> Let's say it's a radioactive <laughs> sign. Okay, and it will hurt our player <laughs> okay and when it's uh, triggered when it's uh, I go to my uh, blueprint yeah and I can take my trigger volume ah and when it's uh, at event actor benjin overlap and when it's exactly the same like my character which means mm, I can invoke something, yeah? So I need to cast to mm, third person character and I can set my variable but I need to create one so third uh, player character mm, person okay and I create variable is that <laughs> and I can set uh, my variable right here so uh, is that and he's really that <laughs> and one more thing animation blueprint I need to set variable is that as well yeah and take my pan and uh, cast to third person character yeah maybe right here and yeah set is that so finally I can run this animation uh, when it's dead yeah So I go to animation graph and when this state uh, changed I just create new state uh, let's say dev and two transitions when it's dead and when it's not dead so first one I just use my is dead and second one I just use my is that not <laughs> and I can link this and finally I can uh, go to default and I can run animation and like before this is really nice animation of the dev so I can just retarget and select these two and have my uh, dev animation so I can use this right here just uh, and I can uh, play this only once so I'll, I unselected loop animation yeah and compile when I check this out yeah it's dying and it's dead okay so right now when I just walk into this area character should be dead yeah yeah and he's dead but he also moves <laughs> so we can just add uh, one functionality mm. so 
so I go to mm, level blueprint and when uh, this trigger is uh, end overlap uh, okay so it will be exactly the same but I want to be uh, is not that so it's that and it's not that <laughs> is that okay and it's not that <laughs> but of course the uh, camera should stop and uh, there should be able to move uh, our character yeah so we need to fix this so when character is dead uh, I need to apply something okay so we just need uh, disable movement when he is dead and one more thing because we don't want to rotate uh, him anymore so we just uh, set yo and it has to be disabled yeah it's everything what we need from here yeah and compile and check this out when I go, go into trigger yeah he is dead I can rotate camera but uh, not character which is correctly yeah and you can show some text on the screen like uh, you are dead and respawn on click or hotkey but it's just up to you okay so next time I will show you some uh, more capabilities I will add like crouching combat mode maybe punching and I will show you some blend poses blend per bone uh, play from slot animation and uh, montage system okay so see you next time